when ye ask, ye shall receive. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 3. Why are we naked? Because, as per request, we're gonna call up Mr. Sigint right quick when we're all naked and stuff. Sounds like the Cobra Unit's members' names came from the specific emotions they each carry into battle. Emotions? Yeah. For unbearable torment, the pain. For true oblivion, the end. For infinite rage, the fury. For absolute terror, the fear. And for unsurpassed bliss, the joy. The joy? It's another name for the boss, because of the joy she feels in battle, I suppose. Uh. During the war, she had a partner named the Sorrow. Sorrow and Joy. They say there couldn't have been a more perfect pair. Interesting, but not the conversation I expected to have while naked. The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear warheads. They're named after Davy Crockett, the hero who died defending the Alamo in the Texan War of Independence. Remember the Alamo? That's right. The warheads are equivalent to between 10 and 20 tons of TNT. Every building within 150 yards of the hypocenter is completely obliterated. But the warheads the boss had with her were some kind of experimental super bomb. So they're actually even more powerful than that. I don't even want to think about what happened if she used it again. Snake, you know what you have to do. Yeah. I know. We gotta kill the bitch, but that's also not the conversation I expected to have. Come on. Snake, what's There you up? go. Why are you naked? I know there's a naked option under uniform that lets you take off the upper part of your uniform. But without a shirt on, your camouflage sucks, and your stamina goes down faster. You don't get any advantages whatsoever. Sure there are. Like what? It feels good. <laughs> Man, you do whatever you want. I will, thanks. Just one question, though. What? Is there a way to take off my pants? <laughs> Say what? My pants, can I... Oh, hell no! This fox unit is a nut fest! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, that was worth it. That was worth it. Thank you to... I think I got multiple comments on that one. So thank you for whoever suggested that. Each and every one of you who did. Let's put the camouflage back on. I don't know what's going to be best because we're going to be moving around right now. We'll just go with the black because the black is good for night. As racist as it sounds. Well, well Tiger Stripe seems like it's better than, than night right now. Alright, we'll go with Tigers then. We're going to be moving quickly. Um... First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try out some of these detectors I have. I had, I've had multiple suggestions to try some of these out. So, let's see. Detecting life forms, motion. It probably is a sonar thing. Or, oh, this one's for animals. Okay, let's use this one. So we actually can, like, have a motion detector. And I assume... Okay. I'm, like, trying to figure out how it works exactly. Oh, that's right. We're in the bridge area, so this is... Just, not the area. I was thinking I was in the next area down. I forgot we were in the bridge area first. Alright, so we gotta get across the bridge. Um, we don't have a gun anymore, so we gotta figure out a different way to get by this guy. Hmm. What way will that be, though? This is the true question. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Um, uh, I, it was told to me in my comments, of course, uh, that, yeah, okay, using the direct, the D-pad actually gives you more of a sneaking... Yeah, okay. So I don't have to crawl to sneak. I can just press the directional pad in the direction I want to go. And because I wasted time on the freaking comm call, that guy is all the way across the bridge, and it's going to take him forever to get back, isn't it? Isn't it? And there's another guy, like, watching him over there, which is fun. Oh, God. What can I do? Is he just going to go all the way across? And then come right back? It makes me wonder. Um, I'm just going to try it and kind of see how this goes. I really want to get him. I'm just gonna like... Oh, 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 oh. Do not fall. Thank you. Alright, get ready to walk. I'm gonna fucking choke this fool out. I'm gonna use just my bare fucking hands. Here we go. I'm gonna CQC this bitch. Here we go. And no, I have not looked up how to do any more CQC, so I'm gonna try this one by just holding down circle when I get to him. Here we go. You guys ready for this? I know you guys are all excited for me to start using the CQC, CQC commands. Holy shit. We just fucked that fool up. We just picked his ass up and slammed his face into the ground. That was awesome. Um, 
Uh, not sure what to do with him. Ah, eh, fuck it, just leave him here. Oh, he dropped more stuff. Cool. Stun grenades and regular grenades. I will take both of those. Thank you very much. So there's another guy, like, right... Is he literally right there? I can't... I can't see him. I don't know. I have 85% camo right now, so I'm happy with that. I'm, if there's another guy, I want to fucking do something to him, too. There he is. He is right there. Don't move. As soon as he turns around, he's a dead man. You're a fucking dead man, bro. You can't hear my thoughts, but you're about to feel them. It's deep down in your soul. Alright, one thing I'm going to try this time is when I go to uh, grab him, I'm, I'm going to use the knife. But I'm going to see if I can try one of these other options you guys have told me about, like uh, the interrogate thing or something. I'm going to try that. So let's, uh... Stand up. Sneak, sneak, dee -dee -dee -dee. You'll never see it coming. <laughs> and then what do we. Oh shit! What? Bullshit! That's bullshit. That's bullshit. How would I. Oh man. I was trying to like. I didn't know what button to press. See, this is what I get for not knowing the CQC options. I know you guys kind of explained it to me, but not enough to the point where I knew what to do. And, ooh, there's a ledge down here. That's alright. That's alright. Use your grip, buddy. You got, that's what you got grip for. Yeah, there's stuff down here. I did happen to remember one of you guys mentioned there was stuff, like, by sliding across down here. I didn't know it was going to be there. And did that say uniform? I picked up a uniform, huh? Cool. Can we? Oh, no, we can't. Can't get it without doing our little sidle with the, yeah. We'll make it. We'll make it. We'll be all good. As long as I don't press the X button like I did that one time. Like a fucking idiot. Anyway, I think we should hump this guy a little bit and see if he get drops anything too. I can use all the arsenal I can take. Ooh, what do we got? More grenades? Shaft grenades. Cool. Any more grenades, bro? Oh, oh. Regular grenades. Cool. Anything else? Anything else? I'll take anything you got. Nope. You're good. Alright, let's get out of here then. I think, uh... Will that do it for the uh, homies in this area? No? Okay. Let me make sure I didn't miss any, like, crevices. Let me check the map. It's always good to check the map to make sure I haven't missed a crevice or something. Um, no, it looks like we're good. Let's just go on to the next area then. Yep. Just like you guys expect me to do. Take forever on each little area, but these areas are bigger and they, you know, I can't see the entire area all at once unless I just look at the map. But even then, I can't see all the enemies that are there. Anyway, I think we're in the area with the uh, the brick building now. We should be. If I remember the order of where we were before. Yep, that's where we're at. Now we gotta do this without a weapon at all. We had a bunch of weapons last time we were here. Now I have none. Uh, I'm just gonna walk slow. Because I don't know where the nearest guy is. Is he gonna be... I'm just gonna walk slow. I'm just gonna walk slow. I don't see a guy. No, do not get down yet. I want to see a guy before I get down too low. And uh, there's something in the bush over there. Looks like an animal. It's probably just an animal. It looks like an animal. Whatever it is. Hope maybe it's another cobra or some shit that bit me like they did in the first step, the first time, or I should say in the last episode. Um. Hmm. Strangely enough, this area doesn't look like it has any guards. I don't see any. Let's uh let's make sure of that by trying something out. Um let's see the scope. Is the scope actually gonna help me at the nighttime? I guess it kinda does. Alright, we got nothing there. We got nothing over there. So the motion sensor is not helping me whatsoever in this area. I'm probably wasting my goddamn time like wandering or t trying to sneak through this area once watch there's probably not any one damn guard around here at all I mean shit this this place did fucking blow up or I guess it wasn't this place it was the the uh... what was it the what the hell was it? Sokolov's fucking like compound research place that blew up is there literally no one around here? this place is just empty yes! AK-47 beautiful beautiful I was hoping there was going to be a, new, a weapon soon. And an AK-47 is beautiful. Well then, if, if a guard does happen to spot us, we have something to combat that. I hopefully it came with ammo. 
Makes me want to look around out here now. Hold on, let me put that motion sensor back on, just to have it on. It'll help us know whether or not there's anything. And I imagine all the dots on the map I've seen so far in this area are aminals and not humans. Probably rats, most likely. Rats and snakes, maybe? I probably have to just get past this area. Or maybe I have to go back to where I first met, uh, what's his face? Sokolov. For some reason I was blanking on his name. Hey look, one of those frogs. I'm not gonna bother shooting those frogs. Uh, there's been enough of you guys uh, basically telling me that the frog thing not gonna happen unless I have a guide, so I just won't. I just probably won't even bother. Even if I see them, like plain and clear that I see them, not gonna bother. Look, there's something up there. I want it. I must collect all things. All these things are gonna help me in the long run, so I must collect them all. Get up there, damn it! I'm trying to climb. There you go. C box. Oh, we got the cardboard box. Oh, of course. Can't have Metal Gear Solid without the cardboard box. Well then, are we supposed to be here? Ooh, look, the mine detector. Ooh, that I always like the mine detector. We are surrounded by movements. Probably just the rats that are underneath this building, more than likely. Let's see what's in here. Is this place still empty, or is there going to be something in this locker now? Oh, no. This has thermal go Oh, my thermal goggles. Cool. Got those back. That's good. That'll actually be helpful since this is freaking night vision. All of a sudden, this place is all nighttime. Thermal goggles may be my savior. As much as I was bad about using them in all... Whoa. Oh. Mmm. Apparently that was required because here we go. Cutscene? Maybe? Apparently they require you to find the thermal goggles to even play the game. Hmm. Who are we coming across first? Who is it? Oh, God. The hell? Sorry, I'm late. Oh yeah, that's right. We're meeting Cut up with somebody. Oh shit! I missed the R1 moment. Sorry, guys. That was too short. It didn't give me enough time. Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. Oh, so this is Eva. Or Eva. All right. Say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me. No wonder Adam couldn't make it. Get down. Oh. Maybe not. She does not know the password then? Is that what it is? Well, at least she's got skills. Whoever she is. At least she has skills. I cannot deny skills. There is your answer. <laughs> you can't deny a lady. Come on, Snake. You know that's your thing. Well, we're used to Solid Snake, of course, but even Naked Snake has the same problem. Who be this? She cute. Who is she? Wait a second. Well, wait, first of all, wait a second. Okay. <laughs> first she... Oh. The name oh. <laughs> oh, there's an R1. Okay, so this is Ava. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are glad I hit that R1. Um, What was I going to say about her? Oh, is that the same chick that was supposed to be Sokolov's woman? From the beginning? This wasn't part of the plan. She looks what happened? I don't know. I don't remember what that chick looks like off the top What's of my your head. Code name? It's Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. 
I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mauser military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Hmm, she got one for us? Sweet. I'll take it. 45, huh? Got a silencer and everything. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced. And the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that. Nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. No way. Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western Munitions Armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What? What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohan. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Sounds like a plan to me. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. <laughs> from the rear. Turn around, baby. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north, and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area, and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave, and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse, and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close-range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Sounds useful. Right. Let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing more. Hmm. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. And what is that? Hmm. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. What's the matter? <laughs> I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? 
I don't know if I can trust anybody. DTA. DTA. Gonna get that? Who is it? I'm busy here. She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. So is it actually, like, legit to quit the game? Like, so every time I finish playing the game, like, every episode, when I save and quit, like, that's going to heal me? I mean, that that's pretty much how it worked before, but, I mean, like, that's what she basically means? That's pretty cool. So I just know that whenever I save and quit, my life will be healed, so I'll be fine, because I'll usually take a whole day or so before I record the next one anyway, so I'll be all good. I'll be all good. Anyway, I'm just going to alternate my saves back and forth every time I record one. Anyways. Snake will be aight. Probably dish his ass by warning, though. Or not. What is she doing over there? Huh. Oh, God. Who's she going to rat us out to? gonna be doing sneaky shit already and you should zip up easy you're gonna get cold out there walk around a bikini in the jungle at night you crazy you crazy r1 oh what what is happening glad i didn't miss that one what is happening is she doing like the, her morning yoga or something uh oh we've been found we're surrounded i see four of them Oh man, it's some of the fucking Ocelot's unit. I forgot they're called the Spetsnaz, I think it is. We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. <laughs> Why is the R1 button Let's always looking at her? Point. Jesus. Don't forget your gear. It is the Ocelot unit, by the way. That's what she said. Here, give me a hand. What are we doing? Are we just setting up a perimeter or What what are we doing? Oh, there's a sneaky way out. All right. All right. I'll take it. We can use this to get to the basement. I already know my way around this area, so I don't know where we're going. Oh, look who it is! Damn it! Ocelot. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay, I'll keep them busy. Huh? Oh no, she didn't. Don't go dying on me now. Uh. Hmm. Very suspicious, though. Hot chicks are hella disarming, you know what I mean? So, you gotta be careful. They get, they make guys put their guard down. Alright, so, we gotta evade. Um, where do I go? Should I go in the locker? Let's go in the locker. Move! No, I want to go in the locker. Oh, hurry up. Alright, shh. Be quiet. Be very, very quiet. Let's see how well this works. Move! Shh. Just coming in firing like crazy. Pretend I'm not here. You don't see me. You don't see me. I'm not there. Woo! Thank God that saves your ass. Did we lose him? Oh, you lost me. What? Not here? He's not here? Keep looking. Nope, not here. Move! Keep moving, bro. Nobody's here. You see nothing. You hear nothing. You are nothing. Pretend you didn't see a thing. <laughs> so. Move! Alright, so there was four of them and they all went back out. 
That's good. I'm looking at the I'm looking at the motion sensor over there to make sure. Okay, they're all they all headed back outside. I don't know what that actually means yet. But uh anyway, we got our weapons. Let's see what we got. We got our M19, which is what she handed us. We didn't get the other weapon back though. The one that she like said, oh this was yours too. Which I think was the uh the, the trank gun. I don't think she gave that one back to us, so we don't have that. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. Let's do the sneakiness, though. I don't know which way we need to go, but we can't stay here, for damn sure. Hmm. Definitely some stuff out there. I wonder if I just have to keep evading them. They're over there, so let's move. Let's grab this. Okay, MK-22 bullets are full. Good to know. Let's move over here. Um, those rats are throwing off my sensors. Like, just trying to see where the hell they are. Duck. Where the hell are they? I mean, I see them right there. Where are they going to go? Where do I go? I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go. I mean, I think I know where I should go. Let me get down here see them like right there 80 percent's pretty good by the way we're playing in the daytime again that's cool so it's probably gonna alternate day and night as I go through the game which way are these guys going are they just going around like a big circle I feel like I should move fast run 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 just run I think we'll be okay we'll just get the hell out of here oh there's a fucker over there Shit, 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 run. Run like fuck. Run like fuck! Oh, there's one there too. Oh boy. We got one. I don't know how many there are. This might be unlimited. Ah, uh, it hurts. Duck. Shit. up all my damn ammo. Bitch. I probably shouldn't have done it this way. Oh, motherfucker threw a grenade at me. Dive. Oh, man. Do I have an AK? I thought I picked up an AK. Hold on. There's got to be an AK around here somewhere. I know I picked one up. Where's my AK at, bitch? Yeah, there's my... Okay, so they did give me the MK-22 back. They just didn't equip it to me. Let's put all my shit on. This shit should all be equipped. Oh, it's limited. Okay. In that case, we'll leave it at that. That's good enough. It's limited. I, I get it now. I think you guys told me it was limited. I just haven't made it... Uh, build it all up yet. That's the first time. I want to use the AK. Uh, let's do that. Suck on that. Oh yeah, there we go. Blow up the barrels. Let's do this Rambo style, bitches. Rambo, Rambo. Now is this the way we're supposed to go? It does make one wonder. Hmm. Let's go up here. Maybe I'm supposed to kill all of them and I'm supposed to do it like stealthily or something. Oh fuck, there's one up here? You didn't see me. You didn't see me? Off the building you go! Oh yeah. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to do that. There, you don't see me up here. You don't see me up here. Don't even pretend like you see me up here. Holy shit, they see me up here. There's grenades everywhere. Alright. Shit, I'm dying, I'm dying. Shit, alright, hold on. I should have pressed, I pressed the wrong button anyway. Oh, fuck. Shit. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm stupid, I know. Fuck, he threw a grenade in here. You know what? Fuck you guys. I'm throwing a grenade at you. Eat that. <laughs> Suck on that, you son of a bitch. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing right now. I probably am supposed to kill all these guys, but I probably could have done it like so much more of a boss than I am that I'm doing it right now. Oh my god. I'm, I'm totally going to die right now. My health is like almost gone. And I think I've killed all but one now, right? As far as I can tell. Or is that it? Did we win? 
That was was I supposed to do it that way? Probably not. I bet the best way to do that was shut up, a bitch. I didn't mean. Ugh, God damn it! I just wasted bullets. What I was probably supposed to do, what I was trying to say, <laughs> is uh sneak through these fools. And then the gate will open for us once we're anonymous. And I don't think I did it the right way. I I say it now, thinking that, but um, we've already gone through uh, me killing them, so there's that. I should probably check for wounds, cause I have the red my my life bar's red. I should probably check my wounds, see if I got any wounds, which I probably do. Hey, look, a ration. Rations are good. All right, let's check wounds. Wound center. Here we come. We have a gunshot wound. Let's uh, let's deal with it. I don't know if I remember. No bandage, no disinfectant, and we're bleeding. So let's do it. Um, see if I remember how to do this. I believe we needed the that one to remove bullets. I think we need the bandage for sure. And do we just need the searcher kit to sew it up? I you know I don't know. I feel like we might, I'm missing something. Oh, this one. There we go. I think we're good now. We right? We got it. We're good. All right, cool. Now, if I want, I could sit here around and rest and let my life heal. But I think we're gonna end the episode here in a minute, anyway. So I'm gonna look around for just another minute. Now that it's daytime, see if I can pick up some more of something. I don't know what. There's this MK22 bullets, but I didn't use any yet. <laughs> oh, stop hiccuping. This is not the time. Not the time, boy. So, like I said, I don't know if I was supposed to kill those guys, or I was supposed to do that more like a fucking champion. But I kind of want to get to a new area before... Oh, you know what I should have done while that was happening? I got too busy in the moment. I should have done calm calls. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. I told you I was going to be better about doing calm calls in the middle of fights and stuff, and I didn't do it during that one. Oh, man. What What now? Another cutscene? Right now? Of all times? I've been waiting for this moment. Oh. Osala. Got my beezy. That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. Female spy? This bitch is wearing perfume. So? What's the what's that have Stay to do with anything? Are. I've had enough of your judo. He's using a revolver now. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun. I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. Ooh. Ooh. Eat that one, Ocelot. What you gonna do? Let's see. Nice. Nice. Roundhouse to the face. Fish didn't even know. Oh, that was epic. Oh, and she backflipped it and landed it. Epic. Wow. That was nice. That was nice. Six shots. That thing only carries six shots. The Makarov carries eight. You have to get a feel for how many you have left. This is a high class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Damn! This isn't over yet. Don't. Why? 
Seriously. He's still young. So? He's gonna grow up and ruin the world. You'll regret stopping me. Oh, don't worry, we will. Damn it! I've got to get back before he does. Fuck is this shit? Triple X all of a sudden? What the hell's going on? Crazy easy. Nice. She busted the gate open for us. Now we can go that way. Not you again. Go that way. In that case, let's go that way. Wait, where are we? We're in the middle. We want to go that way. Let's go that way, shall we? Oh yeah, if I'm missing like any um, item stuff, like I bet you there might be some under this building if I crawl under here, actually. In fact, can we crawl under there still? I think I want to check. Here I'm saying, tell me if there's going to be something under there. Why don't I just fucking check for myself? I'm fucking here. I mean, last time I were here, while well, I was down here, there wasn't a damn thing. That doesn't mean there wouldn't be on the next time through. Might as well check. Might as well a check. Nope, just a fucking scary ass snake, so that's good enough for me. I think I've seen all I need to see. Just hoping that the fucking spider, spider, the fucking snake doesn't bite me in the ass on the way out. That's all. Get the hell out of here. I just want to get onto the next screen so I can so I can have that as like a checkpoint for when I save. And ooh, what's this? Ooh, bug juice. Mmm, I love bug juice. Bug juice. Always stick together. And it's the bug juice. Best of friends forever. Alright, we're going to stop it right here. Let's call up uh, Miss Paramedic and save the game. Let's see what movie she has to talk about today. I see Oops, you've got yourself I did not mean to call her normally. I meant to go to the save. Uh, looks like she's talking about rations. I'm not going to even listen to this. Uh, rations, it never goes bad. Good to know. So, don't eat the rations. Eat regular food first. Rations will be last resort. All right, let's save it and see what kind of movie she's talking Saving about today, scene. like I said. <sighs> I guess this is going to be just a longer episode, and like you guys care. You guys enjoy longer episodes. There's going to be no complaints on your end, I know. I know. And two saves in one episode. Who'da thunk? Hurry up. Come on. Get there, save point. There you go. What are we talking about today? Snake, have you seen Earth vs. the Spider That's one I haven't heard of. Nope. It's about this spider that suddenly mutates into a giant monster. Oh. They bring it into the city in a state of hibernation, but it wakes up and starts wrecking the place. So why did the spider turn huge? I told you, it suddenly mutated. Yeah, right. Spontaneous mutation? Snake, it's people like you that take all the fun out of watching movies. Always nitpicking and taking things too seriously. Honestly, why even bother? <laughs> Look, the important thing isn't that it got big. Then what is important? The fact that there's a huge spider destroying the city. Suspend your disbelief. That's the whole point of movies. I agree. I concur with this. I know way too many people that fucking take movies way too serious. They just don't enjoy them like you should, you know? You go to the movies to be wondered. You go to the movies to to be in awe. You go to the movies for visual bliss, for eye candy, for freaking just for your eyeballs to be entertained in some way or fashion. Not always your mind has to be perfectly freaking attended to with every detail being completely believable. Screw that. It's a movie. And that's my advice to you. A chiming out paramedic says. That's where I leave you today. So next time on Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 3 we'll explore this new area that I have not seen before. The game's about to open up it looks like. So let's find out what we're gonna find. See you guys then. Peace.